Hey y'all, it's your girl Deshaun G, and today I'm going to be doing a video for you to get to know me. It's a get to know me tag. So make sure you tune in before we start. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below. And yeah, tune in. <laughs> So today I'm doing a uh, get to know me tag and I have a great friend, sister friend, Kadisha in the background. Hey guys. <laughs> she doesn't want to be in the camera today, but I will bring her back on the camera because she's really dope. So I'm gonna let her ask whatever questions her heart desires that she believes that y'all should know about me. And yeah, I always look at the wrong camera. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be looking here. Okay. I'm ready for you, Kadisha. All right, Dishana. Why don't you start by telling us a little bit about where you're from? So I like to tell people I'm originally from Newark, <laughs> but I was, um, I have family out there, but I um, grew up for the majority of my life um, in New Jersey and um, I don't know if people know this, but New Jersey has a lot of farms. So when we moved down to South Jersey, um, there was like cornfields where I lived and all this other stuff. So yeah, I live in Jersey. Well, used to. What do you call your grandparents? Oh, so my dad's mom, I call, well, my dad's side, I call my dad's mom, Mama. And, um, I called his dad Pop Pop, and I called my mom's mom Grandma Sashi, and my dad's my um, my mom's dad Granddad. Funny thing is, um, I call my mama Mama because there was this young kid in the community who could not pronounce Grandma, so they would always say Mama, and then that kind of. Um, continue throughout the family and then um, this one I don't know if my grandma would be mad at me but I call my grandma grandma Sashi because she had this cute little dog and I always remember her with her dog because she lived in Florida so we would only see her when we would travel down there so I would call her grandma Sashi I'm like mommy I want to see grandma Sashi and I met my grandma but I only remember the dog's name and yeah <laughs> But I love them all so much. <laughs> okay. Which of your parents are you closest to? Oh! <laughs> what is that with you and the parents? Oh, no. Okay, so I... I don't feel like I'm... Um, okay, so I feel like I'm close to each parent for something different. I'm close to my dad because like he gives me like financial advice and he tells me the tricks of men. He loves to tell me that. And then I'm really close to my mom because she is always like just someone I could talk to about whatever is going on. And I know I'm not gonna get in trouble in the future after I tell her something, even if it's crazy. So she's like my confidant. And then I call her if I need a lawyer or a doctor, things like that, so yeah. What is your favorite? TV show as a child. OMG, TV shows. So as a child, I love SpongeBob. Let's go back a little bit more. Okay, do y'all remember Molly? Like it was this, um, do you remember Molly? She had like the- The couch? Yes, Molly, she had like the couch and she'd be like doing one of these things. Yeah, I loved her. I loved Ginger. They're like, I absolutely love Nickelodeon. They had the best shows ever. If they can bring back all their old shows, super dope. I love That's So Raven. That's my show. I thought I was that. Actually, I thought my sister was That's So Raven, but it is what it is, so yeah. <laughs> What's something that you liked as a kid, but you don't like anymore? Um. <clears throat> Something I liked as a kid that I don't like anymore. Um, I don't know if I don't like anymore. So I used to love video games and Sims. 
especially Sims. I don't play it as much as I want to. So I don't know if it's, it's that I don't like it, but I just don't get the time to play it to even know if I like it anymore. So yeah. Do you prefer cats or dogs? I am a dog person. Don't bring the cats around me. I love a good dog, okay? Don't bring them around me. I don't like cats. I'm scared of them. I think they're so cute though, but I'm really scared. So don't bring me a cat. Bring me a cute little dog. <laughs> What? Tell us about the first car you ever had. Oh my goodness, my first car, I told my parents like, I, okay, that was that's so bad, bad, but my parents got this car. Um, it was like a, a tester car because it's my first time driving by myself. And it was, I don't even know what it was called. It, I just did not like it. It had spiders everywhere. So they had bought it from like this, this shop. It was like this really, really old car. And every time I got in the car, there was a new spider crawling. So I swear, one day, it was like late at night and I was driving and there was a big spider on my side view mirror. And I don't know why I was obsessed with getting this spider off of it. So I was focused on the spider so much. I tried everything to get it off. It was just, oh gosh. This spider, it was the worst spider ever. But that was my first car. I didn't I didn't keep it for long. I ended up leaving it at home when I went to college. But yeah, that was my first car. Do you believe in love at first sight? <gasps> I actually want to go in love at first sight on TV because clearly they're doing something right because <laughs> at least half of the cast of North Carolina got are still married. Um I used to believe in love at first sight. Site. There was this guy who um, I was dating and he told me like he saw me from across the room and he just knew I was amazing and I was like oh my gosh and I remember I first the first time I saw him I thought he was amazing and I was like oh this is gonna be my man and we ended up not working out I mean there's still time for things to change but I don't know if that's gonna happen <laughs> um but um, I think that there's a possibility that I can meet somebody and fall in love with them and it continues to work out. I still have hope. So if you're out there and you have are now watching this video, you think this is love, honey, let me tell you, there's so much more you can get from me. <laughs> fall in love with me, but yeah. <laughs> But I do think you have to get to know the person. Like, I think that like that, that's something you still have to do. So yeah. What are the top things on your bucket list? Top thing on my bucket list, pay off all my debt. You mean bucket list as in like activities? Interpret it however you want. Okay. So bucket list. I would have had skydiving, but I've already done that. Check out my YouTube. Um, <laughs> I want to go, um, if I skydive again, I would skydive in Hawaii. Um, I would love to go to Africa. I would love to see the seven, um, wonders of the world. So the, uh, uh, I say this wrong every time, Aurora lights. Like I think those, like it's, the other name for them are the Northern lights. I really want to see that. Um, I would like to go on a vacation where there, like, I live um, similar to the people from the area. So if they live in huts or tents, I want to live in a tent for the time I'm there. Every every time I tell people that, they're like, Shana, you're crazy. But I think that's so dope to really like, jump into someone else's culture and experience it firsthand. I would love to do that. I'll give you guys one more. I always wanted to see the world's largest volcano, which I believe is in Hawaii as well. So yeah. Would you rather have a live-in massage therapist or a live-in chef? I would rather a live-in in chef because my man can massage me but but then again my man could cook for me 
Nah, I want us to save our time and have fun and watch like movies and travel and then have a chef cook for us. So yeah, I could pay for a massage here or there. <laughs> and plus when I have a family, I want a lot of kids for my family. And I don't think I want to cook that much. I mean, I'm a great chef. Right, Kanisha? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I would take the chef. Would you rather always be overdressed or always be underdressed? I always want to be overdressed. If you saw my last um, fashion haul, I love something that's extra. I love to walk in the room and everybody's like, oh my gosh, who is she? And then once again, I'm like, oh, who, me? This little thing I threw on. <laughs> um, but I love fashion so much. So I'd rather be overdressed. Okay, so now it's time for our fast fire. We're going to have you pick one or the other, and I'm going to rapid fire ask you questions, and you have to say the first thing that comes on your mind. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let me get ready. Okay. All right, pick one, a comedy movie or a horror movie? Comedy. Pick one, cats or dogs? Dogs. Pick one, chatting or phone call? Chatting. Pick no, one. phone call, phone call, phone call. <laughs> Cheat or be cheated on? Cheat. Oh, no. Chicken, chicken or beef? Chicken. Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Exceptional strength or intelligence? Intelligence. Forgiveness or vengeance? Forgiveness. Free health care or free education? Free education. Oh, no. Halloween or, <laughs> Halloween or Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day. iOS or Android? iOS. Kill or be killed? Kill. <laughs> Meat or fish? Fish. Monopoly or chess? Monopoly. Nike or Adidas? Nike. Pepsi or Coca-Cola? Pepsi. Stripes or polka dot? Stripes. Summer or winter? Summer. Texting or phone calls? Phone calls. Vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. A genius, would you rather be a genius or would you rather be wealthy? Wealthy. <laughs> All right, thanks for playing our fast fire. You did great. Thank you so much. Oh gosh. Now it's up to the, the interpretation of the, of the crowd. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me th through the get to know me. This has been so much fun. And um, I can't wait to see what I come out with next. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have a lot more content to come up with. So make sure that you like subscribe and comment to this this um video let me know what you think let me know what you want to see next and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day bye